What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome back. Here we go. We've got an arm day for you guys and uh, it's basically four different sort of four different exercises uh, for you guys. It, it's a quick one, um, but we're starting off with a close grip Smith machine bench press. This is to uh, get the triceps going. We're starting with triceps and I like to use a close grip for triceps because it, it allows you to put a lot of weight on them. The, it, it allows you to hold a lot of weight. I mean, remember in this split, this arm day is taking the place of a chest and delts day. So, you know, our first rotation through um, this, this program that I'm doing is uh, chest and delts and then quads and then uh, lats. And then the second rotation through is arms or, or no, no, no is, is uh, hamstrings and then uh, arms. Oh, I got it backwards. <laughs> the first rotation starts with quads, quads, chest, lats. Then we do what we're doing here. Uh, uh, yesterday was hamstrings, today was arms. So it's taking the spot of the chest day on the second rotation. Tomorrow is back. So um, here we are uh, doing this because it does kind of help load the shoulder, the delt, uh, the chest a little bit more and gets a lot of work on the triceps big time. So we start with that. And then we move on to this giant set, which you guys have seen me do something like this with biceps, which you will see later in this video. Um, but we've basically got a giant set of four different exercises going from your weakest position to your strongest position. Now, most people when doing a tricep extension, they're going to be weakest going overhead and with their palms facing where the cable's coming from. So as you can see, my palms are facing uh, backwards and I'm pulling out in that way and then we're just gonna flip right around palms up here you're gonna be a little stronger like the thing is, is like each exercise here you're gonna be stronger at but the thing is you're gonna be more tired so you'll you won't be able to get more reps than uh, about 10 to 15 is what we're shooting for here so after this you know we do the palms up tricep extension and we switch to palms away go back to overhead Press that out. Get a big stretch. Typically the overhead exercises are going to be a lot harder for you than the push down variations because of that stretch. So we want to utilize the stretch, make use of it, stretch out that tricep, do it up, flip back around. Now we've got palms down and we just go straight down with it. This is the tricep push down the exercise that most people are strongest with their triceps, but since we've just done about 30 reps in different variations, it's gonna give out pretty quick because um, they are on fire at this point. So once you do that, you know, I would say start off with a super lightweight and just kind of run through them to warm up and then do your working set. Um, this being the first week post show for me, uh, I'm only doing one working set, so, but as time goes on, we'll be increasing volume and possibly doing two or three rounds of that with a hard weight. Um, now we're on to biceps. That's it for triceps. Triceps are trashed. On to biceps using this prime, uh, uh, prime machine curl, which I really like. I'm getting one for my gym. That's why it's included in this. All these exercises are going to be um, things that I can do when I open my own gym, which is coming March 1st, 2022. Mark your calendars. Uh, but yeah, so we started off with the machine preacher curl on the prime, and then we go into this little number that I've shown you guys before, which is just brutal. And by the way, I got this from the hypertrophy coach, Joe Bennett. Credit goes to him for this. Starting off in your weakest curl position, palms down, hitting 10 to 15 of those. And then uh, we go into a stretched position out here, arms back behind you, big stretch on the biceps, palms up. Look at that pump, son of a bitch. 
Um, yeah, th this is a burner, guys. And look at the look at the weight that I'm using there. Seven and a half pounds per arm. This machine is every cable stack is gonna feel different. So you know, just pick pick what you feel the most. And uh, uh, when you log this, the way that I log it is I'll log the weight that I use, and then I'll just log the total number of reps that I got across the board. So if you know it's four, it's four different exercises. If I got 15 at each one, that's 60 reps total. So I would write it down as seven and a half pounds, 60 reps, and then I would know what I did and what I accomplished. So there you saw I did just a standard cable curl, and now we are finishing up with a hammer curl, which most people are strongest at, and I am dying at. So there we have it. Crushed it. One more. There we go. Arms are dead at this point, and it was very quick and efficient, effective. Look at that, look at that pump. Fucking crazy. Um, yeah, so that is the arm day, guys. That's, that's what's going on there. I highly recommend you guys try this uh, workout. Uh, it, it's quick, effective, easy. You could throw in um, some abs after if you wanted to. I throw in some posing because this is important to me. I was, yeah, I think it's, it's such a huge thing that I need to keep working on and keep, you know, I feel like it's a skill, you know, it's something you just need to keep practicing. Cause if you don't use it, you lose it. Um, yeah, guys. So we are one week, basically post show. I'm feeling very good. Um, I feel like my food focus is absolutely going away. Um, last night, yesterday, all of yesterday was the first day that I did not, I, I didn't have anything processed. I didn't have any junk, what people would consider junk. I just didn't want it. I, I feel like I'm at the point where I've kind of gotten my fill of it. You know, um, we're just kind of like, eh, it doesn't really sound that good. You know, I don't want to feel like crap, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with all of that weight. Weight is up. <laughs> weight is floating around about 220, 225 ish um, in that range, which, you know, we're going to keep it floating around there. And then over the next three weeks, slowly bring that up to about 230. Um, I would like to see it at about 227 when I wake up or so, 225, 227 in the morning, 230 by the end of the day. Um, but that's what I'm doing, guys. I weigh at night before I go to bed and I weigh first thing in the morning and um, just keeping, keeping track of how everything's going and how everything's looking. We're definitely full as fuck right now but i would not say that we are spilled over because as you can see you can still see my achilles tendons you can see my ankles that's a very good sign post show um, that means you haven't overdone it because that edema that edema usually is is a huge sign that you've gone entirely too far on the junk food and surprisingly as you can see um i have not developed any edema in my lower limbs, which, you know, I'm very prone to having that happen. So um, that's the one thing that I really pay attention to is to try to make sure that that's not going to happen. But anyways, guys, that's where we're at. That's the arm day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder. And I'll see you all next time.